When you know what you're talking about, your predictions might seem like guesses to others but end up becoming reality. That's what happened three years ago when Musk said the United Launch Alliance would run into big problems as the industry changes, even if it seemed like he was just bluffing. Well, it has become a reality. The company's situation has deteriorated to the point where it's struggling to keep up with the competition. They're now looking to sell the company entirely. And the big question is who's going to buy it. And recently there has been an important development regarding this situation, which we're going to dive into it in this video. But before we get any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about space news. United Launch Alliance, created by Boeing and Lockheed Martin in 2006, dominated the aerospace industry for years, setting records that no other company matched. They helped launch critical missions for the U.S. Department of Defense, NASA, and other significant clients. Notably, United Launch Alliance was behind the successful placement of the Mars Curiosity rover into space. They also achieved a high launch pace, at one point managing to launch 12 missions in just 12 months. Not only that, but they also achieved a record of over 100 consecutive successful launches, setting them among the most reliable rocket launcher. Given their early achievements, many anticipated that they would dominate the industry, possibly even surpassing SpaceX and other private companies in influence and success. However, the current landscape tells a completely different story. Today, United Launch Alliance is considered one of the worst performing companies in the space sector. One of the main factors contributing to their challenges has been the emergence of SpaceX as a formidable competitor. SpaceX has redefined the space industry's economics through its focus on reusable rocket technology, significantly reducing launch costs. United Launch Alliance, on the other hand, has struggled to compete on price due to its reliance on expendable launch vehicles. This means while SpaceX lands its boosters back and reuses them multiple times, United Launch Alliance's approach involves using their rockets just once, leading to higher costs per launch. While their Vulcan rocket aims for launches under $99 million, it still faces a price gap with SpaceX's $62 million for Falcon 9 launches. Furthermore, other companies like Rocket Lab and Blue Origin have been making strides. Rocket Lab, although focusing on small rockets, has begun expanding into the medium lift rocket segment with its reusable Neutron rocket. Blue Origin, with its new Glenn rocket featuring reusable boosters and a focus on reducing launch costs, aims to challenge both SpaceX and United Launch Alliance directly. This kind of intense competition can be tough for a company without a strong base, and United Launch Alliance seems unable to keep up with this competition. Financial data indicates the company's declining margins. Their profit margins dropped from 12.6% in 2015 to 8.8% .8 in recent years. These financial trends have led to speculation about ULA's future and discussions about a potential acquisition by Blue Origin. The possibility of Blue Origin acquiring ULA has sparked debate within the aerospace community. Some see this move as a way to challenge SpaceX's market leadership by combining ULA's infrastructure and experience with Blue Origin's innovative capabilities. However, critics argue that merging ULA with Blue Origin could reduce competition by consolidating two key players, potentially leading to higher prices and less innovation. Strategically, the acquisition's benefits are not straightforward. While Blue Origin could gain from ULA's established contracts and expertise, the overlap in launch capabilities between the two companies might weaken the advantages. Merging two completely different companies extends beyond integrating technologies or business strategies. The components used in developing rockets, the materials, the engineering philosophies, and even the corporate cultures are just the beginning of a long list of complexities. Everything from the ground up would need to be evaluated. Now, the bigger question is, can Blue Origin buy ULA even if they want to? Considering ULA is worth about $4 billion, the question of whether Blue Origin can buy it involves more than just whether the two companies would work well together or if their technology matches up. It's really about whether Blue Origin has enough money and if buying ULA fits into its bigger plans. Jeff Bezos has been financing the company mainly by selling about $1 billion of his Amazon stock each year. 
While this is a significant amount, it raises concerns about the company's ability to fund a $4 billion acquisition. Besides, Blue Origin has encountered several obstacles, including delays in the new Glenn rocket launch and issues with the BE-4 engine, complicating the situation further. Estimations of Blue Origin's worth suggest a valuation between $10 billion to $30 billion. There are others in the industry speculating that SpaceX, rather than Blue Origin, could be a more likely buyer of United Launch Alliance. This theory is based on the straightforward benefits for SpaceX, particularly in terms of reducing competition. If Blue Origin were to buy ULA, it could emerge as a much stronger competitor to SpaceX. By acquiring ULA itself, SpaceX could prevent this scenario. Buying ULA would be a smart move for SpaceX for a few reasons. It would take out a rival and also stop Blue Origin from becoming more of a threat. It would give SpaceX access to ULA's long-standing contracts with the government and defense. Financially, SpaceX is in a good place to consider buying ULA. The company is worth a lot more than Blue Origin, with valuations often going beyond $100 billion compared to Blue Origin's $10 to $30 billion range. This big difference in value shows SpaceX has a lot more money power to buy ULA, which might cost around $4 billion, without putting too much strain on its finances. SpaceX's high value comes from its successful launches, the growing Starlink satellite business, and its plans for Mars. It's got a solid money-making track record with deals from NASA and the Department of Defense. Not only that, they're also the top choice for sending satellites into space right now. In 2023, SpaceX's Falcon family of vehicles took to the skies an incredible 96 times, breaking down into 91 Falcon 9 launches and 5 Falcon Heavy launches. This achievement not only shattered their previous record of 62 launches in 2022, but also marked a significant industry milestone by completing 100 launches within a consecutive 365-day period. They're planning to do even more in 2024, aiming for 148 launches. That means they want to launch a rocket about every two and a half days, using mostly Falcon 9s, but also some Falcon Heavies and even Starships. They're trying to make their launch process faster and do more launches than ever before. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.